super excited right now. It was really tough today. Uh, and, you know, to shoot three under, and I don't think I had any bogeys today either, which was great. You know, the wind really picked up, and um, I was kind of surprised when I looked at the leaderboard and I had two-shot lead on 18th green. Um, but, you know, I'm super happy, and I'm just glad it, it's done, and I finally have my fourth win. You have a very close, tight-knit family. Your sister Brittany on the bag. Your parents are out here this week. It's Father's Day, both here and in Canada. What would you like to say to your father, and how meaningful have your parents been, and him in particular? He's your coach as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this morning he said, do it for me, so this is definitely for him. Uh, yeah, he's my coach, my best friend, uh, and a great father. So thank you, Dad. There has been changes in Brooks' life off the golf course. We've talked about that on Golf Talk Canada. And sometimes maybe we put a little too much pressure on a 19-year-old. But uh, does this bounce the season around for Brooke? Is this now a springboard for the summer? It's going to be a busy summer on the LPG Tour, especially for Brooke Henderson. Yeah, she's actually taking a week off this week, amazingly. That's like the first <laughs> week she's taken off, I think, where she's missing a tournament. Uh, but, she, but she does have uh, some, made some changes in the bag. She's been going back and forth between putters to try and find something that's working for her. That's been the one frustrating part with her. When I talked to her at the uh, Manual Life a couple of weeks ago. She was just agonizing over why she couldn't get the ball in the hole. She settled on a nice ping crazy putter that, that she kind of used for most of last year as well. But she's got her defense of her PGA Championship coming up in a week. So we'll see. She's got still got four majors left this year. She's in good shape to have a even better year than last year.